The Family TV Mass is offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation, the Pranic Healing Foundation of the Philippines, and La Puedrag Incorporated. Good day, dear brothers and sisters. We welcome everyone as we celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time, with the theme, Instruments of God's Shepherding Love. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word, SVD, brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Sanctuary of the Divine Word Chapel of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word, Christ the King Mission Seminary, E. Rodriguez Senior Avenue, Quezon City. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Elmer Flores, SVD. And as one community and family gathered in Christ, let us all begin our Eucharistic celebration. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Jesus, the Good Shepherd, is giving us a good example of following Him. As a leader, we also take part in sharing gospel and the love of God to others to be worthy for this celebration. We ask the Lord to forgive us for the many times we mislead the people to us pray. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh, the divine Word, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you. 
let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to the servants and mercifully increase the gifts you have of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Throughout the centuries, the Lord gave to some individuals the task of shepherding his people. Often, however, these shepherds pasture themselves rather than their flock. This is how the Lord reacted to their misbehavior. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Woe to the shepherds who mislead and scatter the flock of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, against the shepherds who shepherd my people. You have scattered my sheep and driven them away. You have not cared for them, but I will take care to punish your evil deeds. I myself will gather the remnant of my flock from all the lands to which I have driven them and bring them back to their meadow. There they shall increase and multiply. I will appoint shepherds for them who will shepherd them so that they need no longer fear and tremble, and none shall be missing, says the Lord. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous shoot to David. As king, he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah shall be saved. Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name they give him, the Lord, our justice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in bright paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. St. Paul presents Jesus as the great peacemaker and the one that unites Jews and pagans into the new people of God. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have become near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, he who made both one 
and broke down the dividing wall of enmity through his flesh, abolishing the law with its commandments and legal claims, that he might create in himself one new person in place of the two, thus establishing peace, and might reconcile both with God in one body through the cross, putting that enmity to death by it. He came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, we both have access in one spirit to the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We honor the Holy Gospel. concern for the well-being of his disciples and for the vast crowd of people who had walked long miles to listen to him showed what a caring person he was. His shepherd's love is a shining example for all of us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they have no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in a boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many came to know about it. They hastened on their foot from all the towns, and they arrived at the place before them. When he dismarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid. Sa mga panahon nito, maraming katanungan kung ano ang pagkaiba ng leader at boss. Kalimitan, ang sagot natin ay marami ang gustong maging boss at ilan lang sa atin ang gustong maging leader. Pwede bang magpalit ang boss maging leader o yung leader maging boss? Siguro pwede, pero karamihan sa mga panahon natin yan ay mas marami ang maging boss kaysa sa leader. Why? Kasi gusto lahat nila ay para sa sarili lamang. Katulad ng sa unang pagbasa in the first reading, Merong mga shepherd na sila yung nagpayaman, sabi doon. At sila lang yung kanilang inalagaan ng kanilang sarili. Pinabayaan na nila ang kanilang mga kasamahan. That's not a good leader. The second reading also remind us that Jesus was a great leader. Bakit? Pinakita niya ang kanyang pagmamahal. Binigay niya yung kanyang time. Sa gospel, when the apostles reported what they have done because the previous Sundays they were sent off two by two and give them the power to preach and to heal. But at the same time, they were given the opportunity to lead people. And when they came back, they started to report everything about Jesus. 
uh, Jesus was well, uh, uh, what we call that one, uh, na-overwhelm siya sa kanilang mga stories. At sabi niya, kailangan niyong pumunta sa isang deserted place. Anong ibig sabihin nito? That sometimes we do so much work without reflecting on it. And Jesus wanted us to look into our own works of charity, our works of love. Totoo ba itong ating paglilingkod o nagiging pansarili lang? Kaya nga, binibigyan ng Diyos ng pagkakataon itong mga apostles na magsettle muna at try to evaluate kung ano ang nangyayari sa kanilang mga pinagagawa at sa kanilang mga sinasabi. But looking, looking at this, nakita pa rin ni Jesus kung paano yung mga taong gumagalaw. Maaring ito ay mga nakasaksi sa mga kababalaghang ginawa ng Diyos o mga kabutihang nagawa ng mga apostles. Kung kaya pilit nilang sinundan ang mga apostles at si Jesus. Dahil sa magandang halimbawa ni Jesus sa kanyang mga disipulo at sa kanyang mga apostles, na isabuhay nila yung kanyang ibinigay na pansamantalang kapangyarihan o kaya uh, technique kung paano alagaan ito at dahil dito na ingganyo ang tao na sumunod sa kanya at sa kanilang paglalakbay sa pagsunod nila kay Kristo nakita ito ni Jesus kaya sabi niya hindi tayo makakapag-concentrate so anong gagawin natin? lipat tayo ng lugar pero ginawa ang lahat ng paraan ng tao para masundan ni Jesus. At dito lumabas ang tunay na pagmamahal ni Jesus. The compassion of a good shepherd. Dahil nakita nila yung effort ng tao na naglakat, naglakbay upang masundan sila. At ang kanilang hakbang na ginawa ay pagpapatunay lamang na sila ay sumasampalataya kay Jesus. Kung kaya't si Jesus, ang kanyang habag at awa ay punong-puno ng makita nila ito mga tao. And he said, they are like sheep without a shepherd. The question now, my dear brothers and sisters, kanino tayo ngayon lalapit upang makita natin ang pagiging tunay na pastol ng tao? Ang mga boss natin, ang mga amo natin, even our church leaders today, but most especially our politicians who really care for us. Siguro mabibilang lang natin sa kanila, sa ating mga kamay o daliri, ang mga good leaders. Karamihan, may mga interes pang sarili. Lalo na ngayon, magsisimula ulit tayo sa panibagong termino nila. Pero bago yun, magkakaroon ng election. Pipili ulit tayo. Anong pipili natin? Yung nagahari-hari bilang boss o yung may malasakit at unawa sa tao? Ito po ang hamon sa atin mga kapatid ng ating pagbasa sa linggong ito on the 16th Sunday of Ordinary Time. We have a good leaders. We have a good example of being a good shepherd and that is Jesus. And God is inviting us. Tayo rin. Paglinayan din natin, lahat ng mga gawain natin sa buhay ay kailangan din nating paglinayan. Kaya nga sinasabi nila, kailangan din nating mag-settle at i-evaluate ulit kung ang ating paglilingkod, ang ating mga ginagawa ay tunay ba para sa kabubuti ng lahat o para sa sarili lang natin. The question is, are we also a good shepherd just like Jesus like the apostles, kung hindi, settle down for a while. Deserve, sabi nga nila, at pag-isipan, kung tunay ang ating mithiin para sa kabubuti ng lahat, be a good shepherd, just like Jesus, na may compassion at awa for those people na naliligaw ng landas. At sa magitan ng ating buhay at ating pananampalatay kay Jesus, mabigyan tayo ng pagkakataon ng Panginoon na tulungan ang ating kapwa higit ang ating sarili upang maging tunay 
na pastol din para sa kapwa at para sa sarili. Amen? Amen. Let us all stand and let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible, visible and, and invisible. invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light, light from light, light, true God from true God, God begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men, for our salvation. He came, came down, down from, from heaven, heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our, For our sake, sake he was, he was crucified, crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in, in accordance to the scriptures. He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven, heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will, he will come again in glory to judge the living, the living and, the and the dead, and his, his kingdom will have no end. end. I, I believe, believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We are all members of the flock of Christ, and some of us share in his leadership role. Let us pray for all those who called to shepherd their brothers and sisters as we say, Good Shepherd, hear us. Good Shepherd, hear us. For all the church leaders, may they always be mindful of their duty to promote the spiritual welfare of the faithful. We pray. Good Shepherd, hear us. For all the civil leaders of our country, may they treasure honesty and selflessness in the fulfillment of their duty to promote justice and peace. We pray. Good, Good shepherd, shepherd, hear, hear us. us. For all parents, teachers, and other people in authority, May they be attentive to the needs of their children, students, and subjects as representatives of God, the divine shepherd of all. We pray. Good shepherd, hear us. For doctors, social workers, and all those who are responsible for the welfare of the young, the weak, and needy members of society, may they give their very best in the fulfillment of their duty. We pray. Good Shepherd, hear us. For the sick and the dying, may they find in the priests, doctors, nurses, and relatives the loving care of the divine Good Shepherd. We pray. Good Shepherd, hear us. That the sacrament of the anointing of the sick may confer to those who receive it and their loved ones the power of the Lord and become evermore a visible sign of compassion and hope for all. We pray. Good, Good shepherd, shepherd, hear us. For the family thanksgiving of Malu Akawili, Maria Cristina Samano, Clarice Guerra, Nemesio Alvarez, Candido and Eloisa Pua, Liwaiwai, Dean and Alvin Mascardo, and Redo Blado family. Healing for Dennis and Linda Redoblado, Stella and Gerardo Canlas, Edwin and Alexander Agawin Jr., Jean and June Hara, John G. del Castillo, Jeffrey Javier, Peyton Trilling, and Lolit Nirza. Eternal repose for the souls of Dominador, Deborah, Gaudencio, and Ruth Cabatu, Juan, Nilda, Rina, Segundina, Potenciana, and Vicente Sr. Redoblado. Liberato, Rosita, Cesar, and Leticia Meneses, Alberta, and Mateo Macasait, Gary Lynn Minor, 
James Del Mundo, Renato Nivera, and Ernani and Magdalena Cuenco. We pray. Good, Good shepherd, shepherd, hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. Good, Good shepherd, shepherd, hear us. Lord, look with love on the shepherds of the church, especially those of our community. Make them strong and generous as they strive to imitate you, our loving Good Shepherd, who lives and cares forever and ever. Amen. friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to the completion of the varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your grace, but even now possesses the pledge of eternal life. For having received the, the first fruit of the Spirit, to whom you have raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for the everlasting share of the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, praise you as we joyfully celebrate, we proclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesa, our Bishop, all the clergy, the consecrated person, and all present in this holy mass. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, a beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with Lord your saints, especially Saint Arnold, Saint Joseph, Blessed Maria Elena, Josepa, and the SBD Martyrs, who have pleased you throughout the ages, may you merit to be co ears of eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may we always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance to your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Brothers and sisters, this is our Lord Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd, the Divine Word, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, 
and lead those you have embed with heavenly mysteries to pass from a former ways to a new ways of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the unity of the family. God our Father, loving and merciful, bring together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support. Infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pettiness far from them, and their occasional failures instill forgiveness and peace. May the mutual love and affection of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. Instill in children such self-respect that they may respect others, obey their parents and those in authority, and grow in mature independence and the tender joy of friendship. Make the mutual affection and respect of families a sign of Christian life here and hereafter. Through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. On behalf of Father Bell San Luis SVD, Executive Producer of Family TV Mass, we would like to thank the following for making our Family TV Mass possible. Reverend Father Glenn Paul Gomez, SVD, Rector of Christ the King Mission Seminary. Reverend Father Elmer Flores, SVD, our Mass Celebrant and Homilist. <laughs> Sister Jo Ragos, our Lector. Your Commentator, Daryl Ibarra. Special thanks to our sponsors, donors, and benefactors. Thank you also to our televiewers here and abroad, our online audiences, and to our seminary staff and personnel. Thank you and God bless us all. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go, follow, and hear the Good Shepherd all the days of your life. Thanks be to God.
The Family TV Mass was offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation, the Pranic Healing Foundation of the Philippines, and La Puedrag Incorporated.